Hey there, let's talk about these banner. First rabbit, Miyoko, should you pull and build her? The answer is, no. Now let's talk about this student. Miyoko is an SMG tanker. She has fast attack speed, high evasion rate, and as well high maximum HP. Her HP could go 100k if you want to, but knowing she isn't the best choices, so, no. Her X skill, deal damage into one enemy, and stun them. The amount of damage are garbage of course, but the stun with low cost is quite valuable. It is really effective to cancelling skill into enemies, like elite or bosses, but still not the best choices to do that and she is easy to get replaced. Her basic skill is garbage, that's all. Her enhanced skill is match as her role, it boosts her survivability, and I would say it quite useful skills. Her sub skill, after using X skill she reduce the damage taken for short period of time. This also boosts her survivability as well, but still not suitable to be used in PvP. You can see it clearly, between before and after her X skill is used, while her sub skill is applied to her. She really looks like she could help you as a tanker, but in fact, no, you don't need and use her as main tanker, even if she has 100k max HP on max, which, need heavy invest, you still don't care about this student, she is just used as an optional student, and pretty sure you already had a better tanker like Tsubaki, Hoshino, and Hiruka, these three can replace Miyako without spending by Raxine, if you have them. Better start to invest on them, but in case you might ask, where you can use her, you can use her here. But yeah, not the best choices for this, but still usable as optional. While for the other raid bosses, she isn't the best since her defense is heavy, or yellow, but for other purpose, she is fine to use. Now to build her, I don't think it was a good idea, but in case if you insist and wanted to build her, you take, first, E skill. Max is better, only if you want to use her on hot boss, but, if she isn't meant for hot boss, then you don't need to increase her X skill, and that's it. Second, sub skill, level 7 should be enough. Third, enhanced skill, level 7 should be enough. So there you have it, Miyako isn't worth to pull, and better save your Pyroxene for next banner. Now let's proceed to the other one. Should you get and build Saki? It depends. If you are competitive and aiming for rank, then yes, while for casual or new player, better not pulling Saki, and save your Pyroxene for upcoming student. She is just only used for one purpose. But anyway, let's talk about her. Her X skill, deal damage to all enemies within small circular range, and stun them. Her area stun is quite good against multiple target, while the damage isn't the best. You might need Saki X skill to fill up CC bar for both the pillar and the boss. Her basic skill, deal damage and inflict burn damage over time. The amount of damage isn't the best at all, it should be good to contribute a little damage. So, it's a garbage then. Her enhanced skill is great for those who don't satisfied with her attack. Knowing she don't deal much damage, but her attack will went into striker by 10%. So this skill, quite useful for Saki to be used her as passive special. 
even her sub skill also useful for strikers as well. It's improving their attack. Now let's talk about where she often be used and why. Mostly, top rank use her in here since she can inflict stun area, while for other raid bosses, they used her as passive special, meaning, they bring her just for the stats. These 4 stats will went into your striker, the more stats she has the more striker will get. Also, Saki is equipped with backpack her defense will went to strikers by 5%, or 85. It is small amount but that is the best you can get from her. If you fully maximize Saki, your striker will get additional 655 attack, 2917 max HP, 85 defense, and 432 healing. Her attack might be more than that if her enhanced skill were counted, but, yeah those number of conversion are higher than Karin. Even using her as passive special, I am assuming Karin is the winner, since she is farmable, while Saki need a lot of investment, but should you get her and build her, if you want to clear this on insane difficulty, you might need her, or you could go your own way without Saki, so the answer is, no, but, if you're competitive and want to clear hard insane difficulty, here, you take first, X skill, max is better, second, sub skill, level 7, or higher even better third, enhanced skill, level 7, or higher even better, only if this affect to your strikers, if not, then don't increase her enhanced skill, otherwise it just a waste, so there you go about Saki, worth to pull. I guess not for casual or new player, but for competitive are absolutely worth, and that should be all, as always, godspeed.